Hi, and welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Alejandro Ojus, and today we are in Computex 2024, and right now we're in the supermarket booth, and we are very excited because we have a lot of things that we want to cover. With us today, we have David. Hey, David, how's it going today? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. All right. I am very excited, but I'm going to let you tell me what do we have here. Right now, we have a Supermicro AU system with the Intel Gaudi 3. That is so exciting. That's because the Intel Gaudi 3 system is the first one leverage the Intel very powerful GPU with the X6 AP CPU. And the thermal solution can survive 500 watts. It's so exciting. Then we have on both a six piece of 800 gig OSP. And very supposedly, we have the Gaudi 3 with the Luma solution, Luma 2 and Luma 3. It's a very powerful. And we also can provide a multi-node of the AI total solution in the future. And we will be launched in this year, September. I believe we are the marketing first priority leader. This Thank is you gonna, so much. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be great. Very excited. So, Gaudi, what do you think was going to be the most uh, used workload for, for Gaudi? The first one is the Gaudi. This is a generation of the Gaudi 3. It's the 800 850 watt and with the Gen 5 new 5 9 technology and because we have the unique on uh, networking design so it's very easy to to link with the switch to do the third S out and third S in that will be impress the speed more than the internet networking AI linking that's very exciting and very powerful of the Gaudi system. Well, this is going to be exciting uh, and you know like all, all the different uh, workload, AI workloads they're going to be able to do here and all the different machine uh, learning and training is going to be very exciting. Yes, very exciting. Yes, you don't need to install the extra networking car for GPU linking like NVIDIA or AMD. We are on both design. So that's why we provide a good performance and low price. And especially the Intel Xeon 6 AP dual core CPU is upgrade to 500 gig, 500 watt with the DDR5 6400 memory. It's very powerful, especially we support the APs of NVA Gen 5. It's better than the other system of the Gaudi, especially better than the NVIDIA H100 system. They are Gen 4, we are Gen 5, of course. Awesome. Thank you, David. I appreciate no it so much. This Thank you so great. much. And I'd like to introduce our powerful software uh, training and I will asking our team member Jeff to introduce you about a, a powerful AI training. Oh, that's great. So let's let's go talk to Jeff. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Okay, so now with us, we have Jeff. I'm going to be talking about how Gaudi and software work together and what were the changes made. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Hi, that's good. So the Gaudi 3 delivers a unparalleled capacity for training and inferencing in large language models. So we can explore what they makes the Gaudi 3 a revolutionary solution. So Gaudi 3 delivers the exceptional performance in LLM at a lower cost and then making it an ideal choice for a, a business of all sizes. So Supermicro delivers the Gaudi 3 uh, on option available for the LLM and GNI markets. Yeah, so in training scenario, the Gaudi 3 uh, accelerators advance the feature truly shine. That thanks to the increased HPM bandwidth and compute ratio and 128 gigabit HPM capacity. So this supports a larger band size and more compute utilizations. And then this eliminates the needs for the recomputations and the uh, model parallel splits. And for LLM inference, the Gaudi 3 accelerators uh, remarkably outperform its previous version, the Gaudi 2. How is this better for in inference compared to, to the previous uh, Gaudi, Gaudi 2, Gaudi 3? Why is this better for inference model? Yeah, because uh, it's due to the increased HPM bandwidth and memory capacity. So this enabling more samples to be processed per unit of time. Yeah, this is so great. It's great for the previous version. So I guess by saying that, we're saying that uh, a lot of the AI models and a lot of the AI workloads are very mem memory driven? Yes, yes, you can say that. So for inference side, you need to get more faster output, you need to get a higher HPM bandwidth and the memory capacity, and you can you can use it more simple to be processed. 
Yeah, this is why we need to increase the HBM bandwidth and the memory capacity. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. So because you have to lo load, also load all those models and then and train them. That's yes. Why also memory plays a big yes. Part. For training and for inference, the HBM bandwidth and the memory increase is is always useful. Okay, so from a developer side. Yeah, so for the developer side, the developer benefit from Intel's integrated open software frameworks. So Intel Havana Gaudi software stacks is integrated with PyTorch and they optimize with the Gaudi AI processors. So and Intel Havana Labs also partnered with the Hugging Face and optimize the software package as specifically for transformer models. So this is the important thing. Because for like a llama and a falcon, it's all the transformer models. So this is an important thing in the, in partner with the hugging face. Right, because as uh, you know, as right now we're seeing transformer models become more popular now yes, than before. Yes. So that's why it's good to have these yes. all these different uh, software developer package and optimizations. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, for developers, at least there are more detailed things about Habana Labs are provided called the TPC SDK for a developer. So. This, this SDK is provided to programming and it includes a compiler, simulator, and debuggers inside. And this uh, allows developers to tailor high performance kernel to their needs and seamlessly integrate it to their deep learning models. Okay, so we're providing yes. all these uh, software developer kits for. Yes, okay. yes. So this is for more detail for programming. Good job. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank That's you. That's great. Okay, right now we're here with Bill, and we're going to be talking about Xeon 6, one of our latest uh, data center processors that I just launched. And we're going to be taking a look, a very close look at these two different uh, single uh, units. And Bill is going to give us a, a quick review. Hey, Bill. Yeah, thank you, X. So, yeah, last last week we, we just launched the Intel Xeon 6, right? So, Supermicro, we are fully ready. We have more than 15 product lines ready for Xeon 6 processors. So, for example, this one, you can see that we have a a patch signature there, so go Xeon, Xeon 6, right? So other than this, this system is very special because we do the modular design, so a lot of uh, configuration can be put based on the demand to do the configuration. For example, uh, all the PCI signal, you can do make decisions to see that you want to do the, go to the front side for storage or you go to the back side for the add-on card, for example, the PC, FPGA card, GPU, or networking card, right? So very flexible. And modularity, I can see that in the front side we have an A drive right now. And because we need more drive, you just need to have the same module buy in here and hook out the cable to the front side. You have a sitting drive. Same thing for a 24 drive, right? So very easy to uh, compete. Uh, we have a 1U and a 2U system. We have the same motherboard and very easy for customer to uh, start with the Xeon 6 processor, right? If the customer start from Xeon 6, they don't know uh, what exactly the computer they want to use, they can start from this system and do the configuration with the hyper system. This is great. Like it's very modular. Like you just said, whatever you need, you can just put in and out wherever you like. Yes, I really like it. And uh, we were talking earlier that you also were saying like right now we have the one U and two U's, and uh, later on we will be able to the customers will be able to get some four U's. Yeah, four U that would be the other part of line. But hyper we have one U and two U. Yeah. So we also have uh, um, so you can see that most of us drive is uh, NVMe, mm -hmm. but we still support a uh, uh, kind of traditional SAS and SATA. Right. And this system can do a lot of configuration, it can uh, do the either, uh, all the different kind of configuration. That's great. There's a lot of flexibility when it comes to storage, because sometimes you still have some SATA, some legacy in there. And yes. And uh, the latest with NVA, NVMe? Yeah, we try to support everything. NVMe, U.2, and maybe later have an E.3, E3.S. E e e we also can support in different module design. You just need to put it into a different module and done. That's great. Well, right. thank you so much. I love this. This is really great. Yeah, so other than Hyper, we also have the Cloud DC. This one is now based on the uh, DC MHS phone factor. Mm -hmm. So you can have a DC and CM, have a flexible uh, module to have a um, system monitoring, right? Right. So this, uh, we based on the DC MHS design to have a 1U and 2U system, uh, basically for good for the uh, CSP customer, large deployment and they can use this system as well. And this is a Rekmon server, 1U, 2U Rekmon. We also have a play system or a multi-node system. For example, you have a 2U with a four computing node inside, right? right? We have a lot of different flexible um, configuration, very broad configuration for customers to select 
uh, which product is best fit for them. Don't overkill. They just buy whatever they need only. Don't buy something overkill or something less okay, exactly to, to their needs. Right. And so you're pretty much targeting a clouded cloud service providers with these type of, of systems. No. That's right. No, I, I like this is great, and I'm very happy you guys were able to use our latest uh, data center processor CN6. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Will. Appreciate it. Thank you.